Hey what's up guys, it's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another high definition video tutorial and today we're going to be checking out the new YouTube video editor. This is the built-in YouTube video editor and this is just going to be a quick overview of it and I'm likely going to be doing another video of it later once some more features have been uncovered or when it changes or something like that but I just tweeted about this about three hours ago and I took a deeper look at it and I think it's worth a video. So I'll include the link to visit the YouTube editor in the description. So this is the interface itself, and it has a couple things that are very noticeable. Well, first of all, the URL, which is uh, uh, will be included in the description, like I said. It has a tab interface, so there's a videos tab and an audio tab. And these will all be things that are included, of course, in YouTube's, uh, you know, things that you can overplay on your music in case you don't p want people to hear the video. You can always use these built-in video tracks. Uh, you can also browse through my videos and look through the videos you've uploaded already to YouTube and combine them together. All you have to do is either hit the plus to add the video to the storyboard or go ahead and drag a video on to the uh, the next square right after it. And I'll see the video gets longer as I drag more and more clips to the timeline. Now it's 8 minutes 50 seconds and I'll add try to add one more. And you'll see you can't go past the 10 minute mark and it'll say total duration is too long so you have to remove or shorten a video clip. So you can remove any of the ones that you entered uh, earlier just by hitting the X button right there. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it is an extremely simple video editor. You're not going to have any transitions between videos, but you can actually cut things out and clip them by using these scissors here. So let's say I want to scissor clip, uh, clip part of this video out. Of course, hopefully this error won't occur all the time. We click the scissors, and hopefully you'll <laughs> actually be able to see a preview up here, and you can actually drag to clip a part of the video that you want to be included in the whole, uh, the whole project you're making. Once you've made this, you can hit save, and that right there is the clipped part that you just created. So hopefully it'll actually work. Maybe it doesn't work in actually Safari, but hopefully this will work in other web browsers. So once you've actually put this all together, we'll go ahead and find select some audio. Uh, we'll find this one from Offbench. And again, I'll do a much uh, more in-depth video uh, like this. Now this is from the audio swap library, so there will be ads on your video, uh, but your since you're a you won't be making video uh, average, you won't be making money off of this because uh, whether or not you're a partner, this is audio swap content. So once you've put your video totally together, you've done all the clipping that you want to do, you can uh, go ahead and give your video a title. So I'll go up here and to the top and just call it the title of the video. And you have all your clips at the bottom and it's pretty much all set to go and you hit publish. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't want this to go up, but this is basically an overview of the YouTube video editor. Again, you can check it out, maybe even publish something of your own uh, if you do come up with something and maybe find some cool new features or it changes in the near future, you maybe want to make a video response to this showing anything that has been missed. So again, we'll have a much more in-depth look at this in the near future. And until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.